Hi guys, Simone from 90s Crime Time here with your weekly 90s crime on YouTube. Uh, yesterday, if you saw the um, upload, I did a recap on last week's podcast episode called Target about Edmund Safra and his untimely demise. And on this past Wednesday, I released a new episode on the podcast called Penalty, and I hope you take a listen. Um, today is the story of um, a 90s case that happened in 1994. It has not yet been on the podcast or on th- on social media, so it's all new right here. Uh, like I said, it took place in 1994 in the city of Chicago, Illinois, and it talks about, in this case, talks about um, the 53rd child that died by homicide in Chicago under the age of 14 of that year alone in 1994. And his name is Eric Morse, M-O-R-S-E, and he... Um, was five years old in the city of Chicago. Now, Eric, five-year-old Eric, keep that in mind, five years old, five-year-old Eric and his eight-year-old brother, Derek, had their own, had their troubles. Now, they didn't have troubles, I believe, from reports with family or friends, but they had troubles with, um, neighborhood bullies. And, um, on October 13th, 1994, five-year-old Eric and his eight-year-old brother Derek were in their neighborhood before school and bullies were, um, there were two young bullies that, uh, hassled them to steal some candy from the neighborhood corner store. Little Eric and Derek refused and, um, the, um, I'm sorry guys, I had a brain fart. Uh, little Eric and Derek refused and the bullies kept on hassling them to steal the candy from this corner store and they still refused, but it made the, um, brothers, the bullies very angry, very angry that they couldn't get these brothers to steal from them. So all the kids went to school and the bullies were hatching a plan to get revenge, to get the brothers to steal candy for them from that corner store. So after school was let out, um, The bullies intercepted Eric and Derek again. They were like, steal that candy for us. Eric and Derek refused. So then the bullies sort of changed uh, angles here. And they said, well, why don't we just hang out? You know, they were all little kids. Why don't we just hang out and we'll take you to our clubhouse. And the clubhouse was on the 14th floor of the housing complex um, in an, an abandoned apartment unit. And the brothers, Eric and Derek, were skeptical at first. They're like, no, these were, they were just bullying us. Why would we go hang with them? Um, however, uh, the bullies persuaded them to hang out with them at the clubhouse. Again, on the 14th floor of a vacant apartment building in the housing complex. This is the Ida B. Wells housing complex in Chicago. Um, the bullies and the brothers, Eric and Derek, all went to this vacant apartment. Once they got there, the bullies hassled, hassled, hassled them again to go steal that candy. Eric and Derek refused. That's when the bullies picked them up and uh, broke out a window, an abandoned, uh, like an unused window, had a wooden frame because it was abandoned, and they knocked the wooden frame out and dangled Eric from the 14th floor. Derek was able to help his younger brother by pulling him down, but then the bullies were like, go steal the candy. The brothers refused again. This time they picked up little Eric again, dangled him by his wrist from the 14th floor. Um, Derek tried to grab his brother, but the bullies uh, let go, and Derek was trying again to reach Eric, but unfortunately little Eric fell 14 stories down to his death the neighborhood came out and saw the little boy um, mangled looked like every bone in his body had been broken he was taken to the hospital but he was dead on arrival little Eric Morse five-year-old Eric Morse was killed he was dead and um, it didn't take long for the neighborhood to figure out who did it because Derek was still alive and he told and also witnesses told that the killers, uh, the bullies were 10 year old Jesse Rankins and 11 year old Tykeese Johnson. They were questioned and arrested. Uh, they were the youngest inmates in the state of Illinois at that time, uh, 1994. And, um, They were convicted and sentenced to first degree murder in the death of five year old Eric Morris and um, they were sentenced to five years. However, Tykeese Johnson served an additional nine years because he was involved in a gang attack, sexual assault attack in prison and um, they've, they've both been released from prison for that murder. However, they've been in the system in and out since then. And um, I'm not sure as of 2021 what they're doing now, but that story hit home with me, not because I know a murder of, of about that, but I do know of a murder where I'm from that um, children were killed in ch- children, children were killing children. And it stuck out to me that it got so bad 
uh, Eric Morse case that the city of Chicago had to do all these press conferences. His death made national news. Like these are children killing children. And um, what's going to be hold, held for the future with that? And uh, it hasn't been good because, like I said, Tykees and Jesse have been in and out of the system. Um, I, like I said, 2021, I don't know what's going on as of now with them, but I can, I'm just assuming that maybe they still have legal trouble, but I'm hoping that they're doing okay. Um, however, Derek, Eric's brother who tried to save him is now serving a 71 year sentence for killing his aunt's boyfriend. And also they had another brother who was murdered not too long ago. So their mother has felt, has faced so much and she has lost so many children to violence and to the system. And, um, yeah, this is a very short case. I just, it just stuck out to me how these little bullies were literally murderers to a five year old because they didn't, he didn't want to steal candy from them from the store. He was trying to do the right thing and he didn't want to get in trouble as well. And, um, I'd like to know what you guys think about this case. I'll also put in the, uh, body of the description in the video more reading about it and what, uh, Jesse Rankins and Tykees Johnson were up to as of like 2017 I believe and um let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any suggestions for the channel like I said I'm still working hard trying to do better for this uh uh, the channel 90s crime times channel i know you guys see other youtube channels out there for true crime and they're all spiffy and high technology and i i don't have that yet but i'm looking forward to doing that um in the meantime please um look at 90s crime time on social media and of course the show and leave a rating or two if you like what you hear and i'll see you guys on the next week's episode of 90s crime time on youtube